All right, um, this one's gonna be a load distributing two point anchor. Um, in order to do this, I absolutely need to have like wrap and pull an uh, anchors on my anchor points. Um, so uh, I, I don't wanna take this cord and start wrapping it around the anchor. It's not really gonna help me out. Um, I definitely need load distributing uh, wrap and pulls at that point and that point um, in order to make my anchor up here load distributing as well. So that's already been done. So I'm gonna make a quad. And so what we're gonna do, uh, I'm trying to size this up. So I'll feed the tail in through here. I know I wanna go there. And let's just say that maybe like this is a good angle. Um, on my load sharing anchor system, I, I tied this off and called it good right here. Um, I don't wanna do that. I wanna actually double this up. Um, and wrap it around again um so i have my landmark here and so this amount of material i'm going to need twice that um so what i can do is try to go back with with this initial strand that all my, the rest of my cord is just tied to uh do it that way um a bunch of ways to do it um i don't know what the right answer is uh <laughs> Really, it's, it's whatever works for you. Um, since it's gonna be low distributing, this tail, I, I, don't want, I don't want this tail to be, we're gonna tie a knot somewhere, right? But I don't want the, the knot to be up here because I want this thing to be able to adjust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the knot, you can see me dragging it down towards my anchor. Any one, any side will do. I'm gonna leave it down there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come back. I'm gonna say, and I want 30 to 90s, but I want a little bit more than that because I'm gonna tie a couple of knots into this. And so I'm gonna trace this cord back through again, bring it back up through there, bring it back down, put it in again. So I'm making my quad now, bring this up. route this down. I don't want to lose track of my cordage. So all this extra cordage I'm just going to put in my hand because if I just bring it over it's going to cross over everything and I'm going to get cross-eyed. So a lot more labor intensive to do this. Um, these really are only applicable when you want to do um, a directional anchor um, and you don't have a single point to do that. You, you got to use a two point um, and you don't have Aztecs. You can't like adjust your directional anchor on a two point. So um, you really kind of have to ballpark your resultant. You're not going to get it 100%, um, especially if you're going between lower and raise uh, because the resultant changes with friction. Um, so we're just going to ballpark it. This I don't need. My tail, which is right here, um, just like with our blitz anchor, um, I'm going to tie a double becket or a rescue becket. So again, uh, take a bite, take the tail, come up, use my thumb, hold it there as a landmark. That's your becket or your sheet bend. That's your double becket or double sheet bend. And then this is your rescue becket, whoops, or rescue sheet bend right through there. Just like that, Yosemite retrace. Okay, let's get this knot kind of choked up down here. Okay, and see what we have. I'm gonna take carabiner and kind of tension all this up, just like that. So now you can see this is low distributing, sure, but it's not uh, redundant. If we lose one of these points, uh, it blows out, we lose our anchor. Um, and even if some of the material stops at this carabiner, we violate the no extension rule or principle of building anchors. So we want to minimize the extension and we want redundancy. And the way we do that is tie stopper knots uh, here and here uh, with maximum of 12 inches or one foot of travel. So again, I still need to figure out where my resultant is. And let's say my resultant is over here. Like this. That's my direction of pull. That's my resultant. It might be a little bit over here to, or a little bit over here, depending on if it's a lower or a raise or if I just kind of incorrectly guessed it. Um, 
so I want some wiggle room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie two, two stopper knots here and here, um, but I'm going to start on this side. It really doesn't really matter which side I start. I, I can't use that over there because the cord is continuing on to something else. Um, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to leave this here. It's following me back um, to the anchors. I'm going to unclip on the non-knot side. And I'm going to come up here. And where do we say it was again? Like right here? So I know I want to stop or not right about here. So here's what I'm going to do. Overhand knot. Pull all this through. Okay, that's one. Let's see. Another one maybe like right here. Two. All right. Now we're gonna clip this back in to our anchor, and we're almost there. Okay. Still, this this still violates uh, the no extension and the redundancy rule because this stopper knot is gonna. It's like nothing's there. This carabiner is not gonna stop up against it. And the reason why I did quad four strands uh, was because of this because I want something super strong and bomber so I can go, I can split this up to two or three. I can clip three in. I just can't clip the entire thing in because then I, there's no point. Um, so now if any one of these anchor points were to fail, um, bam, it stops right there. I limit my extension to no more than, well, total. So if my resultant's out here, I limit it to no more than, bam, a foot and vice versa. So if it's somewhere in the middle and something fails, I only have a couple of inches of uh, shock force um, that the system has to adjust for. So, and that's a quad load distributing two point anchor. So two point load distributing quad, um, not to be confused with Equalette. Equalette um, would just be, um, you just have, you just tie this once with an Equalette and with an Equalette all you get instead of four is just two and then you'd only be clipping one which is why i don't like doing that um, so quad is a great way to uh, to do this you put your pulley in here um, and it's a great two-point directional that kind of changes that resultant depending on uh, whether it's a lower or a raise